Next, not boys and their toys, but girls and their weapons, which they've been using in the battle of the charts. Synthesizers and keyboards are the machinery of choice for rising stars such as Little Boots, LaRue and BB Brown. But one secret that they've been trying to keep hidden is Pixelate. He's a man responsible for the software behind many of their unique sounds. E24's Ruth Barnes has been to meet the man behind the machines. Fletchley Park, a living monument to code breaking, mathematics and computing. It's here that computer whiz kid Matthew Applegate has found new use for redundant technology in a musical project he's called Obsolete. I'm interested in getting machines that make um, interesting musical sounds back working. We've got the Elliot 803. It just produces one kind of basic tone noise, but the pitch can be changed. I think there's only about three in the world, and uh, ours was rescued from a barn, I think. The classically trained musician who calls himself Pixel Hate is making electronic music using some of the rarest and oldest equipment in the world, including the iconic Colossus Mark II, the infamous computer that broke the Nazi code. It's taking the, the whirring noises, the humming, the, the clicking, the crunching sounds, as well as the, the sounds that the sound chips produce to form this composition, and it's, it's purely on the machines that we have. You'll notice that kind of each machine has a particular sound to it, the, 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 the fans, the, the processor. It is modern music, but played on, on old machines. Are these machines really obsolete if they can still be used and still be, be creative? Matthew's created unique software for artists, including hotly tipped young musician V.V. Brown, Grammy nominee Imogen Heap, and Blur frontman Damon Albarn. It's all about turning something that's not usually a musical instrument into something that is, a, you know, a musical instrument, and it gives it a unique sound. And if it is a keyboard that I'm taking apart or rewiring it, it gives the the performer a lot greater palette to work from, a lot, a lot more variance in the sounds that it can do. Matthew hopes that by breathing new life into the museum pieces that once broke the code to end the war, they could now crack the mainstream. It's been a long time coming, but I do think kind of this year is going to have a lot of artists coming out with electronic music, and there's definitely something going on this year.